Uh, we're going to go in a minute over to some audience questions, but one of the things I had to ask you guys about, because it's a very unique, specific experience, you both have competed against Watson. You, you competed against AI, against a robot. Well, c competed is a strong word. <laughs> we got our asses kicked simultaneously <laughs> by, by robot. the same AI. Yeah. <laughs> it's wild, but what was that like? I mean, what a crazy experience. It's very erotic, actually. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on under that pony? Ken, Ken is into humiliation and uh, masochism. Yeah, my, my kink is being defeated by robots on game shows. <laughs> That's a pretty harmless kink. If you've been on the internet, you can see that. That's not that bad. But uh. it, it, was very <laughs> it was very exciting in all seriousness because yeah. it, it felt like the future was arriving and you, you were watching a computer do something it had never been able to do. So it's science fiction. But on the other hand, it's, it's humiliating. Like you feel kind of obsolete. Right, like your skill has just been yeah. taken away by a by a new f uh, assembly line robot. Yeah, and uh, you know it sort of knew how to play the game even better than we did. It, which uh, and I mean uh, the buzzer is always you know dispositive in ninety percent of Jeopardy games, and that was Watson's biggest advantage. But uh, it was bouncing around the board, uh, hunting for daily doubles, uh, betting weird amounts that might mess with us if we had to do the math. Uh, yeah, so, in fact, Watson kind of maybe kicked off the whole, like, money ball era of Jeopardy that we, we seem to be in uh, now. James Holtzauer is just Watson with a better haircut, yes. basically. <laughs> a slightly better haircut. That t-shirt, that's exactly... Yeah. Um, yeah, but did it impact at all or, or influence the way you guys approach the game coming out of that, where you're like, oh, oh absolutely, got... yeah, I, uh, I was like, well, why haven't I been hunting for daily doubles? Why do you have to play the... Why do you have to play the categories in order just because everybody else does? You know, uh, yeah, that was the first thing that got me thinking about it. So the next time I was back on the show, I uh, I started bouncing around looking for the daily doubles. Yeah.